Hi, welcome back! So, like you saw in the last video, I moved to Iceland, but obviously my moving journey didn't start when I moved to Iceland. It started on the day that I got my acceptance letter to my masters here in Iceland. So, let's go back to that day, three months ago. So, this is the first time that I'm trying to say something here, but I just got accepted this afternoon and... <laughs> Basically, this is my last week of university. I've got like a ton of work to do and exams and papers that I still need to write. And I just got the news and I'm so thrilled. But like today is um, May 26th. And I just realized that most of the paperwork that I have to submit to move to Iceland, like the deadline is on the 1st of June, which is like in three days. I'm really excited. So hi, it's been like two months since the last clip you saw when I got accepted and a whole exam season has passed. I wanted to give you like a little update with everything going on, but with this last exam season, it was kind of impossible. And I didn't really feel motivated to talk to the camera and be like super excited about this next chapter without the previous one being over. So yeah, I've already spent like my entire life savings on like an entire new closet because like my warmest winter clothing items from Portugal aren't probably enough <laughs> for like summer in Iceland. So I had to invest in like a good jacket and good boots and a bunch of new sweaters and like not fleece shirts like thermal clothing i don't know if that's the right expression but yeah also the sun is going down so if the light changes i'm sorry i already have a house and i wanted to make an entire video talking about like my apartment hunting situation but i didn't search for enough apartments so I guess I will just like include this in this video because I didn't have a big budget I didn't have like a big like want list I just had like three main things that I really really wanted because I feel like it wouldn't really be livable for me to move there without these things and basically what I wanted was a one bedroom apartment I really did not want to stay with you because like I said I'm moving with my boyfriend we have lived together in like vacations and like in a couple of months of quarantine but it wasn't really like living together and because we don't really know how it's going to be and also we are going to have like different schedules I didn't want to be in like a tiny little space with him and also I really wanted a kitchen with a full-size fridge because like for two people <laughs> with a mini fridge it wasn't something that I wanted to experience because with having leftovers and not having a car to go like for quick grocery shop runs I feel like we need to stock up and with a mini fridge we couldn't really do that and also I wanted windows because I feel like I'm going to really miss the sun because being Portuguese like it's always sunny basically and in Iceland in the winter time we have like the minimum of, of like three or four hours of sun <laughs> in the winter and I don't know how um, I'm going to do with that but yeah we ended up like looking at the first option that was this apartment it wasn't available until the end of August and we wanted to move in the middle of August so we had to look for like a different apartment first 
this was a really nice house it was it was really big it had a huge living room the kitchen wasn't so nice but it was really spacious but it was just too out of budget for us but we ended up deciding that it wasn't something that we were looking for in like a long term after that we also saw these like loft space it wasn't decorated and it was a bit far from the university we would have to walk or catch a bus to get to university and in the middle of the winter having to walk a long distance it wouldn't be really nice we ended up choosing to live in student housing which was something that i wasn't looking for but we saw that one of the houses that they were offering wasn't that bad i'm going to show you some pictures but i don't want to show too much because we actually got accepted to like the dorms that we actually wanted to and i wanted to make it like a surprise when i get there to do a little empty apartment tour and everything and you like you can see i'm really really excited i'm moving in like three weeks i have this week to get things ready and i'm going on vacation for the last two weeks and then i'm coming back home to like pack and everything for two days before my plane leaves so i'm back home and i live in three days <sighs> i just got back from vacation and now the actual part of the moving vlog is starting because i have to pack my entire life in these days and <laughs> basically get my life together today is friday so i have saturday sunday and monday because my plane is on tuesday at 6 a.m i think so basically these days i have to unpack obviously because i bought some things with me that i have to take to iceland not a bunch of stuff obviously because i just went to algarve which is really warm and sunny and i just spend my days on the beach wearing like sundresses i think i won't be wearing any sundresses so basically i'm just like switching from bikinis to wearing like full winter gear and yeah so in these three days i still have to take care of my student loans because that process isn't finished it was supposed to be but it isn't i had to get my hair done and that part it's already done i have to say goodbye to my cousins and my grandma tomorrow i still have to go to decathlon to buy a bunch of things that i'm still missing like some thermal layers and like a good beanie and gloves i don't have gl good gloves i think i have to get a headlamp because i want to go to the volcano basically the volcano erupted last week so it's like the volcano is getting ready for me and i'm really excited i've been seeing like all the pictures and videos and i'm like dying to get there but from what I've read, the hike is really difficult, so I'm not in a good shape to do like a difficult hike, but it's a volcano. Obviously, I have to pack my entire life in two suitcases. I don't know if everything fits. I hope I don't have to pay for like an extra suitcase. And also I have to buy some food. And I think I'm forgetting something really important but yeah basically i just have to say goodbye to the rest of my family today i've already said goodbye to my grandparents from my father's side and to my aunt and little cousins and today was kind of rough i was kind of like avoiding thinking about leaving my family here but when i arrived at my grandparents house like my grandma was crying the entire time and at my aunt's she was saying to my baby cousin to go get her backpack 
to show me because she's going to preschool and because I'm not going to see her going to preschool for the first time basically when she came in with her little unicorn backpack I just bawled my eyes out and yeah I don't want to think about this too much because there is still so much to get done but this is how I'm feeling because moving away it's hard and especially like I'm moving out of my parents house and I'm moving to an entire different country with a completely different culture from mine like this is sunny Portugal and I'm going to Iceland which is like freezing cold in August so yeah but now let's unpack this okay hi I look like an egg but today is Saturday obviously I wanted to vlog today like showing you around the things that I was doing but basically today was just another day of goodbyes and I just spent the entire day like crying and stuff basically I went to the beach in the morning and then I went to take care of the student loans and I said goodbye to my grandma and finally I went to the Catlon where I got a few things that I needed and I'm going to show you now like I didn't show anything that I got before because I got it in the last couple of months and this vlog is a mess like you can see I hope that the last one that you saw was a little bit better but because this one it's like a mashup of like really spread out clips I don't know how this is going to turn out but yeah I'm going to show you the Catalan stuff and this lighting is really bad like you can see like the bed it's already starting to get messy and the rest of my bedroom is even worse I got these waterproof pants they look like a trash bag and I'm supposed to wear them on top of my pants because it's waterproof and it's kind of supposed to be good for hiking I got a, like a simple black hoodie then I got these like two warm fuzzy jackets I got this thermos then I got these like hiking poles because I read that it's kind of useful to have one of these if I'm hiking to the volcano especially if like I'm not an experienced hiker and I'm definitely not <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to eat something and then I'm going to get my suitcase okay I'm back with the great lighting and an even better angle but yeah it turns out my suitcase like the big one it's in the attic and obviously I'm not going to get it now I'm afraid I'm being too repetitive in this video but I don't know I feel like I'm only vlogging to talk about my feelings and stuff but it doesn't feel real that I'm moving to Iceland it kind of like feels sick when I think about it this is starting to be the hard part but yeah I will talk to you tomorrow Bye. <sighs> the suitcase is here so what I'm going to start doing is like basically throw stuff here I have these two suitcases, you can't really see, but I'm not going to pack today. I'm basically going to see the stuff that I have that I want to bring because I bought a bunch of packing cubes and also those plastic bags that you vacuum. So the stuff that you are bringing doesn't take up so much space. I have to check in today and I wanted to see if I needed an extra suitcase. I think I do because of the shoes and like the big jackets that I want to bring. But yeah. First of all, what I have to take care of is this drawer because it basically has like my winter sweaters and obviously I have to bring all of them.
okay so clearly like you can see here I just have this like down jacket and obviously this suitcase doesn't really have anything it's the carry-on but this big one like nothing is compressed and nothing is in its place but I think I just have to bring another suitcase we obviously don't have a car in Iceland so it's going to be kind of hard to carry around the city three big suitcases but yeah I don't think I really have another choice so I'm going to start getting everything in place because like you can see everything it's already a mess this is Twix my kitty obviously she isn't coming but I wish um, I already have some food and like a blow dryer that I just bought it's a mini one and like extra layers and stuff and my desk is already a mess because I have food and like little pouches with everything I'm kind of losing my mind because I have some friends coming over for dinner not like for a goodbye party because I don't want to say goodbye anymore but I still have to make dinner and like get somewhat ready uh yeah <laughs> So my friends just left and yeah I didn't really film much at dinner because I was just enjoying my time with them and yeah <laughs> again like all of these goodbyes are killing me like I know my friends are watching and if you are you know that I love you you truly are my favorite people and I know I'm going to miss you but yeah, tomorrow is the final day, I have to pack everything, I hope that this vlog hasn't been like super boring so far because I have no idea what I've filmed, like I know that I have these huge clips of me talking and I wanted to make this like an interesting vlog, but yeah, I have no idea, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. Final day, let's actually start packing. So I just finished taking the clothes from my closet and everything is a mess. So I'm going to see if I can put this into sections because this is very messy and it looks like a ton of clothes and I don't know I'm going to shove this into the suitcases and how heavy this is actually going to be because that's my problem. That's a boy feeling. Okay, I already vacuumed like the bigger sweaters that I had. So now I'm going to move on to the packing cubes and see what I'm going to fit in in the suitcases. Suitcase number one is ready. Now to the second. So it's already past midnight and I wanted to vlog today in like show everything that I was packing but I was so overwhelmed with everything that I needed to do that basically I couldn't really do anything so for like the beginning of the day I didn't really do anything 
until later when my mom came to help me because I was just freaking out like I knew what I had to do but I was just like frozen it was really weird I spent the entire day like feeling sick I know it's just nerves and yeah I'm really excited I'm really tired I'm going to lay down for like two hours and then at 3 a.m. I'm going to wake up and go to the airport my bags the backpack and all three suitcases are so full one of them I think is going to be too heavy and I don't know how I'm going to deal with that I don't even know like I'm exhausted and I know I'm not going to get any sleep so <laughs> I don't know how this day is going to be <laughs> tomorrow or in a couple of hours I'm going to start the new vlog which is the one that you probably just saw and after this video we are going back to when I arrived to Iceland and you can catch up in real time with what happened. I hope that you enjoyed this video even if it was a little bit messy. I really want to try to make good videos and like get in the flow of making videos again but I need to practice for that and yeah <laughs> just be a little patient with me because I feel like they are going to get better I hope so yeah if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos of this journey to Iceland please subscribe I will see you in my next video bye bye but let's get started with the empty apartment tour this handle came off this also came off yesterday and nothing is going according to plan I don't even know what to say